Hello and welcome my fellow Dino Nugget lovers. I'm bringing you something freaking huge today. Also, yes, yeah, still busted. I'm actually recording relatively, relatively close to the other video. And it still hurts. <laughs> but that's not what we're talking about. Today, we're going to be looking at this huge first four figures, Spyro Grand Edition. We'll talk about the editions here later. But the grand edition of the Spyro Bust. And I'm so excited. What else did you think I was gonna freaking say? I'm always excited, okay? I'm always excited. The box uh, on the other side doesn't really have much more information. Basically, it just tells you what it is, how many pieces there are, the product number out of how many, which is 600 in this case, uh, and all that, all that good stuff. So let's open her up. The box is huge, but it's also really freaking cool. All their boxes are always like themed very, very well to the games that obviously they're making the statues from. I would hope so. The very front, we have a just a full blown picture of the bust, and basically, it is a spiral um, which belongs to Activision. So, Activision, in collaboration with First Four Figures, to create this amazing spiral bust. There are two sizes. The life size, which is the literal life size version bust, which is humongous. It's way bigger than this. And we'll talk about size, of course, here in a second. Uh, I do have the definitive version uh, for this figure, which means it tells you right here that it includes both the open and closed wings uh, available. It also comes with the LED function and it tells you there that it is the definitive version on the left hand side here we have just another picture of the bust in a slightly different angle um, and it just tells you spiral grand scale bust the back on the other hand has a back side of the spiral bust which i think was kind of funny uh, and it tells you everything that comes in the box and the product number is 119 out of 600 i believe for the definitive edition credits of all the people here i will zoom in on that and if you would like to read that please pause but let's move on to the other side. Finally, we are at the right hand side of the box. We have a couple of close up pictures of the base and one of spirals like head to like kind of bottom torso or neck area. And yeah, they look fantastic. Um, I love the very small details, just everything like these, these borders here. They look so nice and <laughs> Let's just get into it now at this point because I'm really, really excited. I wanted to showcase this layer specifically. I took it out of the art box and it's just a styrofoam that houses the figure because the level of detail that they put into everything is freaking astounding. Not sponsored, just need to say that. I just buy a lot of shit from them. <laughs> That's basically it. At the very front of the styrofoam here, they have the logo of Spyro the name of the bust, so like Spiral Grand Scale Bust, and then it comes with a... It comes with a card that lets you know that the figure is authentic. I obviously uh, blacked it out there, but each statue will come with an individual number that is tied to this figure, which will let you know that one, it is authentic. Two, uh, it gives you points and everything if you redeem it uh, through their website. And three, it's kind of like that the ID for the statue. So. Very awesome, plus it's also just like another cool little card that you can have uh, to display next to your figures. The side, by the way, doesn't have anything. It's just the thing to tape it up. Here is where we come into the main event. On the back, we have an actual little uh, bust itself. You can see it's so much on just freaking styrofoam. It's so cool. I personally keep all the boxes and everything for it. Good stuff. Let's open Spyro. And we're just gonna go ahead and remove the top shell to reveal oh he is still in his plastic prison but he already looks so freaking good
Ta-da! There he is. Looking freaking stunning. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. I actually did also want to mention that the Definitive Edition does come with the actual um, charging cable as well as the battery for uh, you to be able to put it in there because it does have light function features. Um, I don't think all of the editions have them. So just make sure that when you're buying it, if you do get this, that you look at um, which statue does it doesn't. And usually they're pretty clear about what it includes. So just make sure you go read the description and all that good stuff. This thing is freaking awesome. You saw all the wings there. There's the little turntable that you know I was mentioning earlier. It says 119 out of 600. <laughs> Let's put it on the turntable real quick. It should be pretty straightforward, but there's a couple things we want to do before that. At the very, very bottom here of the base, you will see that there's a first four figure logo and a battery slot. So we want to go ahead and remove that. Ah, let's do that off camera. There you go, and then you want to make sure that the battery lines up. It will tell you always whether it's positive or negative. Looks like I have it reversed. Make sure that thing is in place. And before um, I put everything in, I like to just check it. Does not look like I have it in all the way. Okay, good news. I was able to put the battery in. I will show you the light up feature, but I did check to see if it works. It's good to go. And now we need to pick out our wings. You saw earlier, it's the ex fully expanded one. But then we also have the wings that are a little more tucked in. Depending on your collection and how you have things set up, uh, you'll know if you can do either the ex expanded wing because it will take up more space or if you want to do the collapsed one and it's a much tighter fit. So. Before we do that though, we need to put the actual little stand in here and you will see that there's a small indent here. You literally just wanna, that's it, you just put it under. It doesn't stick or anything, it's not magnetic. So I can just put it on the ground, put him on top. Ta-da! <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, here is uh, this, by the way, is magnetized. You place the wing, there's a magnet here. You can kind of see it, actually. You see that magnet there? And they're pretty strong um, from what I saw, from what I saw, because I was actually testing it earlier. There you go. It's pretty simple. Here is the other one, and you will notice it is a different shape, but there's also a magnet there, a magnet there and it's that simple. So here he is with his wings on. The base is reminiscent of the games. It has his updated style, uh, which I like. I like his retro style, do not get me wrong. And they actually came out with a, um, a yeah, like a retro piece of him. It is a PVC. Uh, I actually decided not to get that one. And there's so much detail um, from his wings. It has like that little leathery look. Um, his scales have a slightly shinier finish you can see that there then his body his body's a little more flat his uh oh my goodness the painting is the painting is always like super well done on this they do hand paint all of their models um or their figures so <laughs> you can really see the detail that starts to come out so when this like Assuming this is his his uh his plate right here, his skill or his scales, um it would be indented here, so there's gonna be a slight little shadow, and then you can see that on all the like scars or weathering or whatever this effect is here, you do also have that that shadowing. You can see it very predominantly in the wings, and wow, it just looks phenomenal. But the thing is, again, I always mention there's no overspray. The lines look very, very sharp and clean, which is fantastic because these things are not cheap. So, you can be pretty confident in what you're buying. This this is amazing. There's like a slight ombre there to his eyes, going from light to, to darker. 
and even the base here. The base has a more realistic feel than Spyro himself. The bricks have like that actual uh, weathered stone effect. The flyer is not as cartoony. It is more of like a shaded effect rather than just like the bold colors. The size really is perfect. Um, I thought about getting the life size one. Um, but I mean, obviously it's more expensive. That's not really what I was concerned about though. My main concern was just the, the sheer size. And this one is equivalent to about three soda cans. Um, if you look on their site, they will give you all of that sweet, sweet information. And I really just wanted something that would be smaller to fit um, in my case. And this one does a fantastic job of that, if I'm being honest. The height overall is 15 inches and the depth is 7.5. So that's like how deep it goes into. It is resin uh, material, which um, some people really like, some people don't. Um, resin is always going to be more expensive, which is totally okay with me. Um, because it does allow them to get a higher level of detail than you would with uh, PVC or AB ABS. And then we want to put in the closed wing. So you just want to match the shapes. This one has a little bit more of a shape than the other one. Plus you'll know if it's left or right. It's that easy. Oh my goodness, which one do I like better? I think that I actually like the expanded wings better only because these look smaller on him or it makes him look a little smaller even though they're both proportioned to his body um i think the expanded wings just look more more natural okay we got the right wings on or my favorite wings on let's talk about the lighting features there are two lighting settings for the definitive edition of uh, the spiral bust and to access that, you'll notice a couple things here on the base that I just want to show you. There is a, a micro USB port right here. Right above there's a little switch indicating whether or not um, the battery is like red, green, all that good stuff. Um, at the very, very back here, there's a button. And if you click the button, you activate the lighting feature. Oh my God, I just realized it's blue. So here it is. Let me get a little bit closer shot of this. And they look really fantastic with the lighting here. There you go. You can see that being projected on my hand there. The flame is really, really vibrant. Uh, you can't get so much of the light there at the very tip, but you see it more on camera actually than in person. So that's when you click the button once. If you click the button twice or a second time, you get a feature that's called like, um, I guess it's just like a motion lighting where basically it looks like the flames are actually lit and it's fire. So it has movement all along here. So it looks like it's flickering. The gems don't appear to do anything, but that's a okay with me. Everything else looks, Oh, the back there looks fantastic. Here's what the statue looks like lit. Uh, lights off and then over also my overhead lights just so that we can see what it looks like um, in the dark and it looks so good so let's talk about cost um, yeah this is where it starts to get a little bit expensive I would say it's not the life-size one because the life-size one is humongous and this one is only 15 inches in height um in terms of addition there are 600 i have mentioned that a couple times already uh before the material is made out of resin of course however with that being said because it is resin it is going to mean that it costs more just in general the definitive version that i got cost 299 dollars and 99 cents so essentially it cost 300 dollars of course as always that does not include shipping and taxes that you have to pay. This one comes with uh, both wings. You can also get, just get uh, the grand scale with maybe just the extended wings or just the folded wings. Um, or you can get both like I did. It just purely depends on your preference. Uh, you have two lighting modes, which is the static and um, I guess motion lighting. The 
life size bust is the biggest one that you can get you could also get that one with the closed or open wings so a uh, truly honestly check out their website because that's where you could get the the majority of the information because there are a bunch of options that you can get if you just want one thing over the other like trust me life size bust cost um with both wings so again the definitive version is six hundred and seventy four dollars and ninety nine cents so it's definitely a price jump not gonna lie um and that can certainly factor into you not getting it uh because <laughs> if even if you have the money do you have the space and if you have the space do you have the money that's like the age of old question at this point i feel like i really like him oh my goodness i have yet to get a first four figure that i don't like truly and honestly um i have gotten a couple that i you know before i opened my channel that i haven't reviewed and actually i think even one that i just didn't review while i had my channel i can't remember but uh this is my second spyro i'm definitely running out of space <laughs> here on my uh shelves but we'll make it work we'll definitely make it work let me know what you guys think do you think it's worth the price do you think it's worth the hype do you like spyro and do you think it's even worth getting for this figure follow like subscribe do the YouTube things. I always forget to mention that. I'm trying to get better at it. Uh, socials in the beginning as well as now. And yeah, I hope you guys... I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's get Rico and see what he thinks. There goes the great Thickums himself. And he's checking out Spyro. Look at him. <laughs> Do you like it, buddy? Oh, he's sniff sniffing away. It definitely smells like uh, paint when I took it out of the the box and everything. It smells good. I actually kind of like how they smell. So I don't know if maybe that's what like his little nose is working away on. But I would say it's a success. He's he's distracted now. <sighs> Why is he so perfect? Anyways, that's where I'll end this video. Uh, yeah, Rico and I are super excited for what's to come. I'll see you. I'll see you later. Bye.